Hello and good evening. Today it's Saturday, April 16th, 2022. And for this video today, I will be completely stepping away from my usual subject matter here on my YouTube channel, which is jerseys, logos, and uniforms and sports, and the occasional other sports-related topics that I do videos about as well. Um, today I want to talk about YouTube because in my opinion... I think that YouTube should offer at least one or two alternative paths to monetization eligibility. And I'll get into why throughout the duration of this video as I discuss my observations and stuff like that. So, speaking of observations, I want to start with something that I've been noticing for the past six months or so. And maybe it's just because that's been how long it's been since I finally started to notice it. I think it's relatively new, but anyway... I notice a lot of times now I'll be watching videos on channels that don't even have a thousand subs, which is the minimum requirement that you need to be eligible to monetize your YouTube channel alongside three to four hundred hours of watch hours or something like that. And feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but yeah, so even channels with that are not meeting the one thousand sub threshold minimum threshold for monetization i notice there's videos where i'll be watching them and either before the video starts halfway through or part way through or at the end of the video etc i have to sit through advertisements like for example my channel only has 194 subscribers and what i've noticed is recently i went last weekend after i saw a video another or I was listening to a song last weekend that was uploaded by a YouTuber with only about 180 or so subs. And at the end of the song, I had to sit through two ads. And of course, both of them I had to sit through all the way. Thanks, YouTube. I've just touched. Um, then last weekend, I was watching a, a video from a guy I'm subscribed to, and he only has about 750 subs. And... Partway through his video, I had to sit through an advertisement, but thankfully I was able to actually get the skip ad option that time, even though I didn't like the ad stoppage anyway. Then I went and watched my most viewed video out of all the videos I've, been, I've made over almost seven years of YouTubing on my channel. And in order to watch my, my own video on my tiny little unmonetized YouTube channel... I had to sit through a 15-second advertisement, and I have to be honest, after seeing that, I was not impressed, and it made me want to make this video. I mean, I don't want advertisements on my channel. Now, if I had a channel that, say, had, I don't know, 10,000 subscribers, for example, and I was making maybe a few hundred dollars a month from ad revenue, truth is... I would definitely consider having ads and monetization on my channel. And if you have the opportunity to make a significant amount of money uh, over the course of a year because of YouTube ad revenue, I definitely completely respect a person's decision to want to put ads on their channel if that's the case. You know, I, I'm sure for a lot of people, even an extra $200 a month, for example would really make a good difference in their lives. So when I see channels that are monetized and I have to watch the odd advertisement, even though I don't like the ads, and obviously I'd rather have no ads than have to watch ads, but as I say that, when I see ads on monetized channels, I, I'm, not, I'm more impartial to it because, you know, I respect someone who, say, has a, a significant following, who has, like, say, I don't know, 12,000 subscribers or something, or even a few thousand subs where they've decided, hey, I want to monetize my channel and make some money off of the ad revenue. And I totally respect that. I don't blame people for doing that. It's an opportunity. And, you know, if you want to do that and you've got a channel with a significant following, I think you deserve that opportunity. And I think that's great. But when I see unmonetized channels, especially unmonetized channels as small as mine, like, I've been YouTubing for almost seven years, and I still do not even have 200 subscribers, which is not a big deal. But for me, here's the thing. 
I don't like there being advertisements on unmonetized channels because in my opinion, I feel that YouTube is taking advantage of people by making money off of their work by putting advertisements on them. It, that's my opinion. You don't have to agree. But yeah, I think that YouTube, in my opinion, is taking advantage of people when they're not monetized and here they are putting advertisements on their videos without their permission. I mean, if I had my way, I mean, I would not want a single ad on my channel. My channel is so small. Whether you are a subscriber or not, I don't think you should have to sit through advertisements. Now, if I had a monetized channel, obviously that's different. And as I said earlier, when it comes to monetized channels... If I know that the person who's got the channel is making a little bit of money off of those advertisements that I have to sit through, I'm more impartial to it because at least I know that, hey, this person's got the ads here because it's helping them out financially. I respect that. And I know not everybody's going to agree with me on that. But, you know, when I see that on, for example, my channel or other channels, like even even today I was watching a video and I was curious because I was watching a video made by one of my um, or a channel that's got, uh, is unmonetized like my own channel. And they only have a, this is another channel that I'm subscribed to and they only have about 750 subs as well. Um, they made a video, I think it was about comparing Reebok and Adidas jerseys. I, I think that's what it was. And the video had quite a, quite a number of views. So in order to watch that video, even though I know he's not monetized, because obviously he doesn't have a thousand subs yet, eh? As of the filming of this video. But, you know, I had to watch an advertisement just to watch his video. And in my opinion, when YouTube's doing that to unmonetized channels, I feel that they are taking advantage of us and making money off of our work. Now, that's why I'm saying that I think YouTube should offer some alternative paths to monetization. And I'll get into that. But, you know... I just, I mean, I get the old saying that, hey, if you don't like the way they operate, you can leave. I mean, hey, you've got a point. I mean, the reason I stay on YouTube is because I love talking about what I talk about. But at the end of the day, what I really enjoy is getting to talk to other people who care about sports jerseys, sports logos, and sports uniforms as much as I do, if not more. That's why I'm still going and making videos and why, you know... I'm probably not going to walk away from YouTube for at least another year and a half to two years, at least. Because, you know, even though, the, even though there are some things about professional sports, like, for example, the NHL and Major League Baseball getting ready to put corporate advertisements on their uniforms, which I'm completely against, and I think it's absolute greed at its worst, in my opinion. Um, you know, I still, I, I've really enjoyed the hobby over the years, and as I say, I enjoy talking to my regular viewers who... I get to talk to all the time who also care about the hobby as much as I do. So, you know, for me, this is a hobby. This YouTube channel is a hobby. And, you know, I just don't like the idea of YouTube putting ads on my videos without my permission and other channels that are not monetized. I mean, this is why I believe that YouTube should offer some alternative paths to monetization. Like, for example, you know, when... If YouTube offered some alternative paths to monetization, I would be more impartial to YouTube having ads on unmonetized channels. Because, and I'll get into that in a moment here, but sorry, I'm having a bit of trouble wording this. I apologize. I'm making this video on the spot, so please bear with me. But, you know, I, I just, I mean, obviously, when you when I talk about ads being on videos that are, on that belong to channels that are not monetized. I mean, those ads aren't just there for the for the heck of being there. YouTube must be making some money off of those advertisements or they wouldn't be there. And when I see ads even on my own videos, it just really frustrates me. So here's what I think YouTube should consider. I think they should consider, because, you know, actually before I get to that even, sorry, please bear with me. I remember a day where YouTube used to only require 200 to 250 subs. I can't even, re I can't remember which one. But the, you only needed, I believe, 250 subscribers 
to be eligible for monetization before, and I guess they decided to make it a thousand. I think it was to appease um, advertisers or something. I don't know. I can't remember. If anybody knows, please feel free to comment down below. But you know, here's the thing. I, I like for if you've got a YouTube channel and you've had a channel for a long time. Because if YouTube is putting ads on smaller channels that aren't monetized, why not have some alternative paths to make it easier for channels to be eligible for monetization? Like, for example, after, say, five years of YouTubing, if somebody's been YouTubing for at least five years, they have, you know excellent community guidelines standing, no copyright strikes, maybe after five years of YouTubing, instead of requiring a thousand subscribers for that content creator to have to be able to uh, apply for monetization eligibility, you know, maybe after five years, if they have a good record, maybe let them have a chance to monetize once they hit 750 subs instead of a thousand. And then if somebody's been YouTubing for at least for 10 years and they've got excellent standing and they've made maybe <coughs> excuse me hundreds of videos why not let them be able to be eligible for monetization after just 500 subscribers i mean if you've been making youtube videos for a long time i mean why not I mean, if YouTube's making extra ad revenue, which they must be if they're putting ads on unmonetized channels, why not offer some alternative paths like I'm suggesting? There would be a lot of people that that could be potentially helping out. I mean, in my opinion, Google can afford to pay out more monetization to more content creators. I mean, I think, you know, if they want to require a minimum of a thousand subscribers for monetization for everybody, including myself, well, if somebody's got an excellent record after five years of YouTubing, why not let them be eligible at 750 subs instead of a thousand? I think that's a, I think that's more than fair. And then if somebody has been making videos for at least a decade and they've, have excellent, no community guideline issues, no nasty comments or bullying, and no copyright strikes, well, why not let them be eligible at only 500 subscribers if they've been YouTubing for at least a decade? I mean, I think that is more than reasonable. I think that's a great idea. And, you know, I think that's a really good way of rewarding smaller channels for staying on YouTube. I mean, and even when you listen to my proposal... Listen, 500 subs, I'm not even 40% of the way to 500 subs. So guess what? Even after 10 years, I would still be completely in, 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 uneligible for monetization under my own proposed, you know, alternative paths for YouTube monetization. So, you know, I think my idea is more than, than fair. You know, it, it's... I just don't like the idea that, you know, if you're going to have ads on even unmonetized channels, you know, and you're obviously must be making some kind of revenues off of that, especially, you know, when you don't even have to pay the content creator a little dividend for having ads on the channel, you know, if you're going to do that, I mean, obviously it's up to YouTube. This is YouTube. This is their rules, not ours. It's Everything's up to them. But, you know, if they're going to do that, why not make, make it a little easier for some of the smaller content creators to have a path towards monetization? I mean, I think, I think you content creators out there that have been around for five plus years who still don't have a thousand subs, you know, maybe you've got 810 subscribers. I think after five years of YouTubing, if you've got good standing and you've got no copyright strikes within the past year, that period that you're applying, when you're applying for monetization, why not make them monetization eligible? Especially when you're taking smaller channels and putting ads 
on their videos and obviously making probably making money off it. It's like I, I, I just I think that's fair. And you know, when I talk about monetization on, on unmonetized channels, you know, truth is I'm actually considering taking some of my most viewed videos and just either making them private or just deleting them altogether. I mean I don't want advertisements on my channel. I don't want anybody to have to sit through ads on my channel. My my channel is a super, super small channel. And, you know, I would, you know, unless I all of a sudden one day turned around and I had like, I don't know, four or 5,000 subscribers. And, you know, I knew that, hey, if I monetize my channel, I'd be making, I don't know, hopefully around 50 bucks a month or something. Then then truth is I would definitely consider and probably go all the way and monetize my channel at that point. And if you were were on the same boat, I would totally respect that decision. I don't blame you for wanting to monetize. Now, when somebody has got a thousand subs and they're monetizing right away now, I respect that choice too. But in my opinion, if you're only making two or three dollars a month tops or two to five dollars tops per month, with YouTube monetization, in my opinion, it's not worth stopping and making people have to stop through advertisements on your videos all the time for that. But, you know, for example, if you know you're going to be making like 15 to 20 bucks a month or possibly more than that with monetization on your channel, I think that's completely reasonable. You know, making like even an extra couple hundred dollars a month, for example, if you ever get a channel with that big of a following to an extra $200 a month for, for a lot of people is a significant amount of money. It would make a lot of difference for a lot of people. And it's true. I'm, you know, and yeah, it's just, I think that if YouTube's going to take advantage of the fact that, you know, Hey, this person's unmonetized. If we put ads on their videos, we don't have to pay them for any ad revenue sharing or allowing ads on their channel you know why not allow more people to be monetization eligible by offering alternative paths to monetization like what i'm proposing i think that is completely fair and then that way if you do have videos like say some of my videos that people beyond just my own subscribers have actually sat down and watched you know at least that way hey People like myself, you know, we're getting rewarded for being on YouTube for a, a little longer. And the fact that you've been putting ads on our videos without our permission and saying, hey, we're actually going to help you out in return by making you have a smaller requirement to meet our standards for YouTube monetization eligibility. I don't know. I think that's pretty fair. But anyway, what do you viewers watching think of what I'm saying? Do you agree with me? Do you think I'm making a big deal out of nothing? Do you disagree with me? Feel free to comment down below if you want. If you don't, hey, that's totally fine too. If you don't want to. Um, at this point, I'm going to call it a wrap on this video. I'd love to hear other people's opinions on this. Um, but yeah, I, I got to be honest. You know, when my channel's as small as it is, I don't want people to have to sit through ads on my channel not at all and you know as i just recently said in the past minute or so i mean i'm actually considering pulling some of my videos off of youtube entirely whether it's deleting them or even just making them private because you know i mean i got nothing to lose it's not like i'm losing out on the potential to make money or something i'm not even with my monetization alternative paths or whatever you know I wouldn't, I'm not even remotely close to meeting either of those standards either. I mean, what do I got to lose if I delete 10 of my most viewed videos? I got nothing to lose, you know? It just frustrates me that here I'm watching my own video and I have to sit through an advertisement. I didn't say that, you know, you could put ads on there, YouTube. I mean, I get that it's YouTube and it's their rules, not mine, but still, I have an issue with that. And in my opinion, I feel that YouTube is taking advantage of me. And I do not like it one bit. But anyways, folks, that's going to be a wrap for this video. Uh, as I always say at the end of all of my videos, take care. And as always, bye for now.